previous to this session we had a discussion over microscope and uh, where we saw the formation of images uh, one at a near point d as well as uh, another one at uh, infinity and for both cases we have uh, uh, found the equation for the magnification so in uh, today's class we are going to discuss uh, one more concept which is related to the uh, this microscope and this microscope is called as a compound microscope so let me write compound microscope compound microscope so what is the difference between the uh, stereo microscope and uh, this uh, compound microscope so, previous to this session, we had a discussion over uh, that stereo microscope. In that microscope, we have only one kind of lens. We have used only one lens. But here we are using two kinds of lenses. In other words, we will use two lenses. So, the such a microscope is, uh, is called as a compound microscope. Then, why we are taking the two lenses? Uh, over one lens. Then what is the advantage of uh, this compound microscope over the, the simple microscope? Right? It can also be called as a stereo microscope uh, which means it consists of only one lens. So the main advantage of this compound microscope over the uh, stereo microscope or a simple microscope is for the uh, better magnification. So that uh, uh, simple microscope has some limitations for uh, magnification. So, uh, if you want to get a, a larger magnification, it is not possible by the that simple microscope. So, so to get a very larger, so to magnify any image to a large extent, then we have to use compound microscope. So that's why uh, we uh, we use compound microscope, and it has a lot of advantage over the simple microscope. So in this compound microscope also, we will be discussing about uh, the magnification which is produced by this compound microscope. So I already told you this compound microscope has two lenses and one lens can be called as an objective lens, another lens can be called as an eyepiece. I am repeating, we will use two kinds of lenses, uh, sorry, yeah, two kinds of lenses. One is objective lens, another one is called as an eyepiece. Objective lens means that lens uh, will, uh, will focus, uh, focus the object. That's why it will be called as an objective lens. And uh, uh, there is a one more lens which is an eyepiece and uh, through which we will see the objects, that's why it is known as an eyepiece. So, let me draw the diagram for a uh, microscope, uh, which is a compound one, it consists of uh, two lenses in this. One one of the two uh, will have a larger approach, means the second lens will have more surface area than this one. There will have more surface area, a large aperture than the, uh, this lens. So this lens is called as an objective. Objective. This lens is called eyepiece. Now we have to draw a principal axis. This is a principal axis. So there is a ray coming from an object to place in front of this and we have to draw, draw the focal lines, see this is optic center and from center to this point, see this is a point, this is a, this objective, that's why focal and objective can be called as F naught. Similarly, 
this is the point of the principal axis. So from the optic center of the eyepiece to this point it is called as MP, means it is a focal point of the uh, eyepiece. So the length between these two focal points. This is the second, second focal point of the objective. This is the first focal point of the eyepiece. So the distance between second focal point of the objective, first focal point of the eyepiece is called as a tube length. It is called as a tube length. It is denoted by F. Yeah. Tube length means it is the length of the tube. So when you uh, when you observe the microscope, you will see some column, you will see some tube. Uh, at, at its ends, these two lenses are being fixed. So that the tube length, the length of the tube is known as a L here. So this is a L. Now let's uh, uh, ray from an object incident on the first principle, first uh, lens. And it undergoes refraction after refraction, they will move like this. They will pass through the, this focus. And another ray, which will also move here, and they will intersect each other. See, these two rays, after refraction, they will intersect at this point. At the point of intersection, they will form the image. So, this is the formation of image. And that ray has to or uh, meant to pass that ray meant to pass through pass through the eyepiece and it will undergo refraction here. Go like this. It will deviate like this. This is where we have to observe. This is where we have to observe. That's why right. this uh, lens is called as an eyepiece, where we will see the objects. And if you extend it on this, you can extend it this. They will intersect over here. Uh, I can take a uh, object also. I can take object also. This object H and this is a hash cash. Extended back. See, at this point, image. So this is our final image. See, this is the image of this object. That is A B and A dash B dash. This is A double dash B double dash. See, this is the final image formed. So this enlarged, this is an enlarged image and it is a virtual one, same size object, uh, which can be read through this eyepiece. So this is the uh, uh, concept here and this is an idea also. See here, a ray of light from this object falls on the objective. After passing through the objective, after undergoing the uh, refraction, it will form the image over here. This is the image form of the object. This image will act like an object for the eyepiece. This acts like an object for the eyepiece, and the ray from this object will enter into this eyepiece and they have the low refraction. And uh, if you extend it back, those two rays, then they will meet at one point, and that will uh, that is actually the image.
and reduce the inverted and uh, uh, enlarged and virtual one. So, this is the image formations in the case of the microscope. Now, now, what we want to do is we have to prove uh, the equation for the magnification. So, here we are using the two, two lenses. Why I am telling this? We already discussed the concept of uh, thin lenses in a contact. So, in that concept, uh, we have uh, got to know that uh, equation for got to know the equation for power. Power is uh, uh, proportion inversely proportional to the focal length. So that that we what got to know uh, in the derivation. And also one more factor I told you in the same uh, session that. The magnification produced by uh, combination of the lenses is given by the product of the magnifications of the magnification produced by the each lenses. That's why I have also written that equation by deriving it as a m is equal to m1 into m2. That was I written. So here also we are using the two lenses. That's why whenever we are using the uh, two lenses, we can find its magnification by making the product of the magnification produced by these two lenses. So now, uh, let us write, uh, this is the object. So this object is uh, a ray from this object, uh, box on this object and after it, uh, this is an uh, intersect and this uh, f naught. So the ray from the object will subtend an angle at the objective. See here, this will make an angle to the objective. See here. See this is the angle. This is angle made by this objective with respect to this objective. Similarly, you can write this is also uh, as a as uh, angle subtended with objective. See, this is objective and it is also making an angle uh, with the, uh, uh, yeah, this objective is, uh, uh, sorry, this uh, ray from objective is making with an object. So, let me write this as a beta. Let me write beta. Uh, if this is beta, then this is also, it should also be. Now, what I have to write is, we have to find the magnification produced by that. So, to do that, uh, uh, what you have to do is, I told you the concept, to find the total magnification, you need, need to make the product of the magnification produced by these two lenses. So, in the beginning, let us find out the magnification produced by this objective. After that, let us uh, find uh, magnification produced by this angle. Then let us make it uh, make the product. And uh, while calculating the magnification, we can take two cases. Uh, the cases are, uh, are uh, cases are uh, uh, like this. Uh, we can say that uh, image uh, to be formed at uh, infinity, or we can say image to be formed at a near point. So the image to be formed at infinity then the object should be at the focus. If the image should be formed at a near point B, then the object should fall very near to this uh, focal point. The image should fall over here. If the image is fallen here, image formed here, then the image, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, this is the object for this one, image of the objective. If the image of the objective is fallen here or appeared here, then the final image formed at a near point B. If this image is formed at this FV, then the final image formed at the infinity. That's why we can take the two cases by finding the magnification for this angle. So this is the angle made by the object with the object. Yes. Now let's write from figure from figure tan beta is equal to tan beta is equal to, let's take this, tan beta is equal to, uh, we can also write, uh, see here, we can take this triangle here, we can take this triangle, 
and uh, this side is parallel to this one, that's why we can write h here and this length can be called as f0 that's why tan beta is equal to h by f0 h by opposite uh, uh, side to the f0 similarly uh, you can uh, see beta over here and uh, you can also see the beta for example if I say I told you already if we may is formed at the focus then the final image let's say like that I will draw like this okay, this is the L this is the L. the changes made are here is uh, I drawn like image should be formed at the focus that's all now the image is formed at the focus in the beginning case I drawn the image over in between uh, F0 uh, and F0 uh, which means in length here. Now our uh, image is uh, found at F0 or point P. Okay. Then this length, this is the length is L and this I go to which is a head dash. And this is beta. So beta is also tan beta. If you take the tan beta to this triangle, then tan beta is equal to H dash by L. So that's why you can write tan beta is equal to h dash by h dash by yeah. so tan beta which is equal to h by f naught and tan beta also equal to h dash by yeah. that's why that is why we need one result let us take this okay because both are equal to tan beta that's why we can equate this so h dash by h take the h over here that is equal to Yep. So this is what we got here. Then the magnification produced by object. Let's write magnification produced magnification produced by object which is m0 m0 is equal to we can directly write this as h dash by h okay this is the magnification produced by any lens h dash by h we already know the value that is del by f0 okay so this is the one equation for the magnification produced by the object now the image formed over here that image will act like a uh, an object for the eyes. So, for the first condition, let's say if the object is near to the focal point, then the image will form at the near point. Let me write if final image to be formed formed at near point D then the object is at object is near to the near to the focal point near to the focal point it should fall near to the focal point that means here okay in between this, it will fall over there. Then what you can do? See. What we can do is near point D. Then we can write magnification. Uh, we can directly write the magnification because uh, we already proved such a case uh, while deriving the equation for simple microscope. Because we have seen the two cases and there we have used only one uh, uh, lens and we have to the equation for the magnification. Then, we have to be, now the image will be found at the near point D, then we have written 1 plus D by, this is F to which one? I is, that's how we should write F. 1 plus D by F. 
So this is for yeah. If so one case I told you if image to be formed at at infinity. Infinity image to be formed at the infinity, then object is at an object is at focus. This should be at the focus this place. Then young e this case also proven. And what is the equation? That is D by F we have written for a simple microscope. Here we use the eyepiece, focal and the So that's why D by F. So these are the two cases we have proven. Now what you have to do? Let us uh, find the total magnification. So the final image to be formed at the near quantity. Again we are taking the same image. Let me write. Here we have written. Yeah, no, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So let me write. If final image found at near point point B then total magnification total magnification is M is equal to M naught into M naught times M see now the image to be formed at the fo uh, near point D, final image to be formed at the near point D. So ME should be substituted this value because that is a equation proven uh, uh, for the image to, uh, which is formed at near point D. That's why we should substitute this ME which is a result from second. From, okay, right, from second. M0 is equal to that is from uh, you can write 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 m0 is equal to m by f0 into m e is equal to 1 plus 1 plus e by so this is a net magnification now another one is remaining then where should the image form if May be formed at may be formed at infinity formed at infinity then total magnification very easy one total magnification total magnification m is equal to m naught into m similar equation m naught is equal to l by f naught into yummy, that means this one d by d by yeah. so from 1 and 3. So, this is the equation for magnifications of the compound microscopes. Okay, so this is about this is about the magnification produced by the compound. So I told you in the beginning that in order to get a larger magnification, we are going for common microscope rather than choosing the simple microscope. So if you look at this, this is simple one equation, that's why I am going for this. If you look at this equation, you can uh, raise the magnification. You can make the magnification more or you can try to get a more magnification by decreasing the values of f0 and f. Okay, f0 means it is a focal level of this object. f e means it is a focal level of the eye. So by making the or by using the very less focal lens, 
you can uh, 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 you can magnify a reach to a large extent. But thing is, uh, the minimum focal length that can be designed is only up to one centimeter. Thing is, you can design a uh, lens uh, with the minimum focal length of one centimeter. Uh, below the one centimeter, uh, the lens which you have in the below the one centimeter cannot be designed. Okay, that's why it is also a kind of problem over here. You cannot uh, uh, magnify more than that. That way. So what else we can do? We can increase the value of L. So by increasing the values of L, also we can increase the value of magnification. What is L? L means it is the tube length. See here. This is L. That is now as a tube length. So, uh, by increasing the value of the tube length, length of the tube, you can, we can also raise the value of this magnification. Yeah. So, this is about the comp uh, compound microscope.